Lots more on Daily Planet today. Move over delivery trucks. Amazon drones are taking courier services into the 21st century. Ever wonder what a koala looks like on the inside? Not so cute anymore, are they? And jam this up your nose. Wait a second. And voila, a masterpiece. This is Jeffrey Vinegar, the dancing scientist from UCLA. Hello, how are you doing, Dan? I'm doing well. Okay, what Excellent. are we doing today? We are gonna try to crack this pipe. Can you feel that? Knock it on the table a couple times. Well, I don't wanna hurt solid. the table. That's try to crack that. Cast iron, man. No luck, right? That is a solid pipe. What if I told you I could do that with just water? Crack it with water? Crack it with frozen water. How? Very simply. So water is an amazing substance, right? Oh, yeah. And it expands when it freezes, right? Uh -huh. So it actually expands by 9%. So if you have a certain amount of water, you put a bottle in the, in the freezer, it expands, you can crack the bottle. Right. But is it powerful enough to crack this really thick iron pipe? That sounds like a good question. Let's see. So we're going to do a, a controlled experiment. Ooh. So you, are, you have a pipe exactly like this one, and you're not going to put water in yours, and I'm going to put water in mine. So to do that, I have water here that's at 4 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now, usually people think water is 1.0 grams per cubic centimeter, right? Uh -huh. The density. But actually, it's most dense at 4 degrees, which is the water we have here. And it expands by 9% when it freezes. So you're saying this is the most water, because of the temperature, that's the most water you can fit into your pipe. Exactly. This is as dense as the water will get. Okay. All right. So we're going to cap it off, close it off. So there's no air in there. No there air should be bubbles. no air in there. And now I'm going to tighten it up. As tight as I possibly can with my big, huge muscles. You want to try? You want to yeah, try? Yeah, sure. All right, and I'm going to cap yours for you. Okay. So there's no water in this one. It's just air. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, I, I see. I already got it. So that's the ex yeah, no, I can't tighten that at all. You've got it. So sure. this is one that has water in it, and this is one that has air in it. Correct. But how, so how's the water going to crack this versus the air? So in theory, the air should not crack it. So we're trying to show that it's the water that's doing the cracking, and it's not just the cooling of the iron. Oh, okay. It's a little controlled experiment. It's okay. Real, real science. So, but now, how are we going to crack it, though? What's the procedure? We to have make to it? freeze it very, very, very cold. So, over here, I have some containers with liquid nitrogen. All right. So, I'm going to walk over with the two pipes. Okay. So, remember, this one has water. Okay. This one has air in it. Okay. And then we're going to toss them in, and then we're going to take cover. All Let's right. put it in the cold stuff. That's very cool. All right. When I do this, take cover, okay? Really? What? Oh, yeah, because it's going to cracking pipe. Okay, so on our right, on our right, it's the water. On our left, it's the other one. Oh man, get out of there. So Take right cover. now, the pipes are cooling. Dan, uh, you, you need to be here. No, you so need to be there. So I can be behind no, you. No, 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 no. I think you should stand there. I think you should stand there. I, I don't know if You're you You're bigger see than me. Wow. Whoa. Oh, come on, man. Let's check it out. I thought the blast shield was overdoing it, but apparently we really needed that. All right, so we have two pipes here. Air, cracked pipe. Check it out. Look how thick that metal is. That is insane, and it just, it looks like plastic. Can you see this? Well, that's not good. Tupperware, I didn't really have any money that that was gonna last, but this is crazy, right? And that's just from the water expanding. Just water. It expands by 9%, and there's a massive amount of energy. But also another factor here is the metal, it contracts slightly. So they're pushing against each other, and also metal gets slightly more brittle when it gets cold. Well, it worked, and of course, this is why, as all Canadians know, you don't let your house drop below zero degrees Celsius while you go away for the weekend, because this is what happens to your pipes. Your pipes freeze? There you go. Jeffrey, thanks a lot, man. That okay. was great. Glad we're safe. Whew! Ah, good old liquid nitrogen. Is there anything it can't do? Well, now holiday shopping is upon us and it can be difficult on the best of days. We're talking crowds, the stores with no concept of supply or demand. It's a long list, but let's leave it to technology to make it at least a little less stressful. Now, online shopping giant Amazon.com is developing an awesome new way to deliver your loot, aerial drones. It's called Prime Air and it'll use unmanned octocopters to make speedy deliveries. The copter couriers can cover a 16 kilometer radius from a distribution center and can deliver packages weighing just over two kilograms. But don't start looking to the skies for a drop this holiday season. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is saying that the high-tech delivery method should be in place in the next four to five years. 
In the meantime, public safety is a priority, and the new drones will be designed to meet new commercial aviation standards and rules. Now do me a favor, I want you to check your wallets. Now go ahead, I'll wait. Now how many credit cards, debit cards, and gift cards do you have in there right now? And if your answer is more than one, you're really gonna dig this next concept. It's called COIN, and the idea is simple. One card to rule them all. With it, you can combine up to eight individual cards into a single device. This bad boy is Bluetooth enabled and uses the swipe method for payment. The card has companion apps that work both with Apple and Android devices and let you do things like save detailed card info for faster online purchases. And the apps also keep track of the number of times your coin card is swiped and it's gonna alert you if an unauthorized use is suspected. And the Bluetooth connection provides you with a bit more security by alerting you if you get distracted and happen to leave your card behind. Thank you, Lucas. Okay, here are a couple of animal stories in the headlines today, and we're in Australia now. We're Ooh. supposed to be looking for crocodiles. That's right, Dan. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. Looks like we're going flying instead. Park rangers noticed this motion sensing camera that they used to keep tabs on crocs went missing a few months ago. They thought it just fell into the water, but that is not the case. Instead, the 10 centimeter long, five centimeter wide camera just turned up 110 kilometers away. This ultra curious sea eagle is clearly the culprit. Park rangers are happy to have their camera back and this hilarious footage, but they've also learned their lesson. From now on, bolt down the cameras. It's a sea eagle selfie. Mm -hmm. Love it, that's very cool. We're gonna stay in Australia conversing with one of the country's most iconic animals, the koala. Yes, they're cute and cuddly, but more than that, their mating calls are about 20 times lower in pitch than should physically be possible based on their body size. But as of today, we think we know why. Let's go inside a koala's head now. These are the vocal cords of a male koala. And it turns out these animals have an extra pair of vocal cords located outside the larynx. It's between the nose and the mouth, and this is probably what lets them go so low. Okay, coming up, from understanding wolves to communicating with dolphins, Zaya wonders. Will humans ever be able to speak animal? Find out on Zyology.